Welcome to the weekend. It is Saturday at noon, noonish, one o'clock. I don't know. Um, we had sort of an eventful morning. We went grocery shopping. Well, we started by going grocery shopping, and I'm standing in Myers and going to pay for the groceries and realized I don't have my credit card. So, um, Jeff paid and then I'm like, okay, well maybe it's in my purse, maybe it's wherever. So I started backtracking the last time I used it and we went out to dinner on Wednesday night and I left it at the restaurant. So we stopped and picked up my credit card. We went and had lunch at Yamato, which is a hibachi girl with sushi and, um, and had lunch there. And then we stopped at Walmart, picked up some bones for the dogs came home put all that away and now Jeff is down at the wood burner cutting wood I'm gonna go down there here in just a few minutes and um, we are planning on spending the afternoon relaxing the Jacksonville game comes on at 4 30 so we're gonna watch that and then his Bengals play tomorrow at 3 so um, I get another weekend of football so here's hoping here's hoping for a couple more weekends of football um, but I'm a little bit of a hot mess. We were out late last night and um, got up this morning and went right to grocery shopping. My eye, I woke up today and my eye is all red. I've got dry eye and every now and again it gets really irritated. Um, and I don't know if it's because I had makeup on last night or what, but it's, it's a little itchy, a little red. So let's go see what Jeff and the dogs are up to. So Zaya and Bindi have found a mouse in our wood pile over here. And the mouse ran from the wood pile. And there's an opening. I'll show you. Right there, the mouse goes in. And then we have a fire ring. So I'm sure the mouse is running behind that fire ring. We haven't made a fire in here in days because snow, rain, whatever. But now they're trying to find the mouse, so they've decided it's a good idea to jump into the fire pit to see if they can find the mouse. Did you find it? Say, did you find the mouse? The mouse. I would assume the mouse is down there because she is intent. Is there a mouse in there, boo? What's dad doing? So how long do you think this will last now? Uh, 20 days maybe. But I got all those ones down the woods are going to go down and bring up. So. Say ya, say ya. Leave them rolling. Those ones that are down the woods, we bring those up here. My guess is we'll make it through February. All this over here is what we just threw up there. That was all of the stuff that was sitting down here. Good boy. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Say smile. Cheese. Cheese for the camera. Okay, this is um post nap look. <laughs> we all like laid down and fell asleep for a good hour and a half. I think we slept we laid down around well, 2.30, so it's been almost two hours. So now we're just trying to <laughs> restart. So we are going to get ready to watch the game. Such a look. Who's the look? You want to say good morning? Good morning. It's not good morning. It's good afternoon. Okay, whatever. It's game day. She's confused. It's game day. D-E-Y, as they're saying in Cincinnati. Just like who day. I put who day on the last video. Okay, good. So, you want to tell us about your exciting night last night? Oh, God. <laughs> so, a little issue. We go to bed last night. It is, oh, I guess it's about 10 till 12. Somebody is already 
sucking the paint off the ceiling, snoring. I was sleeping. I hear this god-awful rustle in the bathroom, which is right there next to our bedroom. And it sounds like one of the cats in there. I thought, thought two of the cats were fighting. Anyway, I go in there, and I find Izzy is standing there with a mouse in her mouth. Now, the part hanging out is the tail end of the mouse. So I go over there, and I say, good girl, you caught a mouse. She opens her mouth, mouse drops on the floor, and takes off running. So now we have a live mouse running around the bathroom. Mouse went toward the shower, disappeared behind the shower curtain, thought, okay, he's in the shower. So she goes in after him. Nothing. I pulled the shower curtain back. It's like magic. No mouse. Mouse is gone. Shake the shower curtain, nothing. Shake it again, nothing. So I thought, well, maybe he's not in there. So is he still looking around? I'm still looking around. So shake the curtain again, nothing. I'm able to peel it back, find the mouse on the curtain. I grab a washcloth. I think, I'll grab him with this, and I'll throw him outside. He deserves to be outside. I know it's cold, but guess what? He's in my house, and he's causing problems. So, um, mouse hits the floor, takes off running again. He runs out of the bathroom, through the bedroom, tries to go out to the living room. Well, he stopped halfway because he ran into the gate, turned around, came back, back in the bathroom. Now, as he's chasing him, I am moving this cabinet around in there because the mouse is under there. She's trying to get him. He runs behind the sink. He runs behind the box that's by the sink. He runs back under the cabinet. He runs back around the bathroom a couple times. Ended up, the mouse ran behind the sink. I think, well, he slipped down right beside the pipe where it comes up or drains out, and he's went down, down somewhere. So no more mouse. I left the bathroom light on all night in case she started up again. I had to go in there because I didn't want the mouse crawling up my leg. Fix me one bit. So we just um, woke up from taking a nap, and um, when we went in there to lay down, Izzy must have found the mouse because it was laying dead in the bathroom. So, no more mouse. This is what we woke up to this morning. I don't know if you can tell, it's still snowing. There was no snow. Well, there was a spattering of snow yesterday. You got about an inch and a half, two inches right now. So, <clears throat> we are currently letting the girls run around for a little while and then we're going to go and get. Jeff's going to get his hair cut. I'm going to go to Starbucks. We went to Walmart yesterday to get bones for the dogs, and they didn't have any, <coughs> which is not unusual. These bones that, that we get them must be very popular because more times than not, they're out when we go looking for them. So I'm going to run in there and see if they have any of those. And then we're going to come home, and it'll be game time. So the Bengals play the Bills at 3. I think the Bengals are the underdogs, right? I think so, yeah. I think the last time I looked, it was five and a half. It's just because Buffalo's everybody's favorite team now, which is okay. That's all right. So no whoever wins today gets to play Kansas City. So if the Bengals win, they'll have to play Kansas City for the AFC <clears throat> Championship, which is exactly who they played last year for the Can for the AFC Championship. <laughs> so those are our big plans for today. So we'll keep you updated as the game progresses. I'm really hoping they win. Um, they've already beat Kansas City twice this year, or this season, and then, of course, they beat them last year. So, we'll see. Okay, it's five minutes to three. Buffalo just took the field. It's snowing pretty good there. Um, apparently, DeMar's at the game, or at least was in the locker room before the game, and they haven't actually showed him on TV. Jeff is taking a shower. It's three, three o'clock. Give us your pre-game feeling. Three o'clock and all is well, but the game hasn't started yet. So I do think since I was gonna pull it off, I think they've got a couple of team members out that'll make it a little tougher for them, but I think they can do this. Working on shrimp and chicken wings. A dead cat in a minute, don't you He hasn't made a drink yet, but I'm sure he will shortly. I was just going to get the lime out. Oh, see? He's just coming up. What What are you making? What is your drink of choice this evening, sir? Vodka tonic. Vodka tonic with the lime. And then he bought feta stuffed olives that he said he's going to eat every time there's they score. You're not going to eat many if it's a low-scoring game. I said we're going to eat I'm not eating time. them. Oh, yeah, no, I ain't. That's your penalty. I don't like olives. Your Here's the snow. 
Here's the thing. Cincinnati, Buffalo, doesn't matter. They're both used to snow. So, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, like I said, it does make the ability to get yards. It does make the balls more slick, but both teams deal with it. So, so all the announcers just made their predictions, and the only announcer that predicted the Bengals to win was um, Boomer Sison. Oh, really? Everybody else picked Buffalo. So, oh, screw them. <laughs> so we'll see, but we're getting ready to kick off. So we'll check in here in a little bit. I feel like one of these coaches. Coach, how do you feel about that first quarter? <laughs> She keeps putting me on the spot. First quarter looks good. Bengals 14 nothing. I think Buffalo has all of maybe 10 yards offense, whereas Cincinnati has about 165. So, so far it's looking good. Stay tuned for halftime. We'll see how it's going. Kenny's very excited about the game. Say is even more excited about the game. It's halftime. It's 17 to 7. Bengals. Still not enough of a cushion. They've got to pull out a few more points this next uh, quarter. Game just ended. Game's not quite over. Got about a minute left. Yeah, but Cincinnati is the ball. Cincinnati's winning 27 to 10. It's good. They did played a fantastic game. The best they've played all year. So good for them. And it's over. Well, they did it. They pulled it out. <laughs> Bengals are heading back to the AFC Championship game. Playing Kansas City, which is the same team they played last year. Except for last year, we were in Las Vegas when they played. So, um, One of my sons just texted me. He said, I think we should go back to Vegas to watch the game. I said, yeah, me too. That would be fun. But they play next Sunday, 5.30 or 6.30, against Kansas City, in Kansas City. So we will be watching that game, I'm sure. So it's been a good weekend. We are just sitting here now watching, we are on season two of Yellowstone. And I've decided that Beth Dutton is one of my favorite people on TV. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we're season two, episode three or four, so... Otherwise, tomorrow's Monday, and we will get ready to go to work. Like I said, it's 7.30, so we'll probably watch this episode of Yellowstone, potentially one other episode of Yellowstone, maybe. And then we're going to get ready for bed. So thanks for joining me for our weekend. We'll be cheering on the Bengals for at least one more week, and we'll check in with you guys. Potentially in a couple days. I don't know. We'll see. But please subscribe if you're new here. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you later.